So it's been a bit since doing the Dark Souls. But there was one little part of the game that I have not done on stream that I feel like I should do. At some point or another. And it is the season, as they say. It's February as of this recording. It's winter time. Merciful goddess, mother of the forlorn, who have no place to call their own. Please bear witness to our resolve. This is our NPC 2x negative. Uh, that's a good point, Iggy. I will do that. Let's not limit it to... only people in my region. If you want to play, passwords beat us. This is Gale. He's making strange noises. Wait. You've... You've the same scent as that woman. Not the best pickup line. You must be an action one. You must be. Oh. Just because I smell nice? You or, like, ash? Long I've searched. Maybe I'm just a smoker. Oh. Oh. Well, I gotta go. Uh, no, nah, I guess we should keep talking to him. Creepy as he may be. Oh, oh, don't mind me. Didn't mean to fall apart. <laughs> now, Ashen One, I have a kindness to ask of you. My lady lives in the cold land of Ariandel. I need you to show her flame. A proper flame that will burn the rot away. If you truly are Ash, then it must be fire that you seek. Hmm. I accept this ass. Ah, uh, thank you. They of Ash never fail. Just a moment. You seem completely trustworthy, so why not? The painting of Ariandel. Well, rotted scrap of it, that is. Go on. Take it. Touch it. Worst way to ask for an autograph. Alright, you don't seem suspicious at all, so I'll do exactly what you're saying. Hey, this is not what I expected. You seem like such a stand-up dude. Now, granted, I probably should not have expected that to happen, because that's weird. Wouldn't you agree, Theo Legopolist? <laughs> I mean, I can warp right back here, you... I mean, I have a thing that I can just hop... Let him have his moment. It's, it's fine. Nice guy, though. I like Gale. Hmm. <sighs> well, you're interesting, but there's this. <gasps> Do you know my friend Gale? Uh, have you just arrived? How very unusual. Just how long has it been? Rejoice, my new friend. For this is a true haven of the forlorn. The cold and gentle painted world of Ariandel. Quick, go along. Find one for yourself. A sweetly rotting bed to lie upon. Ah, ah, yes, of course. You're no exception. We've all seen terrible things. 
But you're safe now. Let it ease your burden. Ariandel will make a fine home for you. So, go on ahead. Find one for yourself. A sweetly Like I think he's just saying the same thing. I was just getting into my groove here and I mean, look at his sick rhythm and beats. So, uh, I have played this before. This is not a blind experience. However, it's been quite a while. I played it once when it was released. Did not revisit it. That's why I'm enabling summoning and various shenanigans, because... There's nothing to experience blind, because I've seen it all. And I have my password on, which someone has laid down. So if you, like this enterprising person, want to join in... You can do so with that password. It's Beatus. Let's have some fun. Let's have a cash stroll through the Winter Wonderland with Runch. Returning fan favorite from Streams of Past. So, Ashes of Ariandel. There's going to be some themes we're going to see a lot. There's a lot of talk of rot, like that guy. People who were astute may note that we entered through a painted thing of sorts, similar to a previous video game that involved a painting area. The painted world of, uh, what was it called? Dark Souls 1, Arianus, or something like that. Memory test, you probably have a good memory, perhaps you could tell me. There's Runch wielding a big old club. Let's beat off these followers. It's dual wield, in fact. This is actually somewhat uh, difficult the first time because there's more of these guys than you may expect. Some of them have range. They can gang up on you if you aggro too many of them. They can be a bit of a bit of a trouble. And I'm trying to remember if there are any important treasures to get before proceeding to the next area. I don't think there are. Not too much of the treasure here is uh, of intense value, as I recall. There's a few good ones, but hopefully we'll find those. Runch, are we good? Do you remember? You said you haven't played the game in months either. I'm going to take that to mean we're good. So let's pick up this... Oh. Oh. My god. Oh, shit. You just reminded me, with this character, I do not have any of the emote stones. That's, uh, that's unforgivable. That's like the most important item in the whole game, and one that I did not collect. I actually had to play through this uh, really quickly with a new Karak in order to... Uh, to... There we go. Goodness. Uh... Because when I switched PCs, for some reason, my save data didn't seem to uh, come with. So I just kind of breezed through the game. I remember it well enough that it didn't take too long. How do you like my fashion, guys? Hot fashion? And yeah, these wolves are a bit of a pain. For the same reasons as the follower guys, there can be a lot of them, and they can come at you all at once, and it's kind of irritating to deal with. Mostly if they, like, surround you and stuff, and you don't have, like, a crowd control style weapon. But otherwise, not too bad, not too bad. Oh yeah, and there's a... What's the uh, dog's name in Dark Souls 1? feel bad that I don't remember. Artorius's buddy. The... Oh. From my point of view, he just kind of disappeared. How weird. So, what do y'all think, those of you who have played this delish content before? I am... And the reason I didn't stream this closer to when it came out was because I didn't... I wasn't a huge fan, exactly. These guys have a really good shield. That is potentially worth getting. It's not, like, bad, this DLC, but it's... 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 
Um, it's kind of there, I guess, is the best criticism I can give of it. It's not, uh... It's kind of Aryan dull, if you will, just a bit. And I'm wondering if that's because one of the emphases behind this uh, delish content was perhaps the PvP arena. I don't know if that occupied a lot of their time in, uh, in doing at the expense of some of the PvE stuff. See, that does something, right? Yeah, sort of. But nothing a little gymnastics can't solve. Actually, don't really remember this area as part of the DLC at all. Let's see what else is wrong with the DLC. Uh, there's also only two bosses. Like, it's kind of a... Uh, not the best criticism. I mean, there's bosses, but, uh, you know. Previous DLCs had, like, three was the typical. Also, who's, uh, is there a guy up there? Yeah. Runch knows what's up. Let's see, the, what else? The lore of the DLC isn't the most appealing, necessarily. Yeah, thank you. Runch is making this much easier than a conventional playthrough would be. I'm thankful for that. The lore follows, is... Like, the lore of the DLCs has, in the past, been about ancillary characters. Hey, a book. Such as Artorius et al. Uh, this one is kind of about... Uh, I don't even remember the name, to be honest. I can't poise through that big axe man. Big axe man also has a lot of HP. I'll take it! No, I can't take it. Whew. That was perhaps luckier than skillful. The Titanite Shards for rewards are bugging you more than they should. Yeah, right. Because you're not meant to tackle this DLC before... Actually, I don't remember if there's anything holding you back from entering this place, like, when you can, which is when you go into the Cathedral of the Deep area. I think Runch has gone off, gone rogue, so, oh no. This is always the scary part, is Maguro a stream person, or probably more likely just a rando? The game suggests you start the DLC once you've beaten the prince. Oh yeah, that's right, once you've beaten the princess. Princesses. That rings a bell. Where's my best friend, Runch? Did the bug go away? Yeah. Oh, the Blade of the Dark Moon. Is that somebody that my Way of the Blue? Yeah. I'm in the Way of the Blue Covenant. I joined it just to make the uh, PvE aspects of my playthrough a little bit easier. I didn't want to, like, unplug my internet just because I was playing through Dark Souls. Come on. That would be silly. Well, I lo- oh, there's Runch. Where are you going, Runch? Runch! Oh. I don't remember a sec! <laughs> Runch, what did you do? How dare you, Runch, you you trickster. My very no. oh. What are you talking about? Hey, parrot grass. Real or imposter? The fuck you say to me? Quit the sweet yeah, okay. I have some HP regen items equipped. So Taking damage isn't too big of a deal. I never went up here. There's treasure up here, as I recall. As I recall, there's also going to be wolves following me. 
many, many wolves. And my one hand, it does a horizontal swing, which will give me some crowd control, possibly. Yes. Nice. Is that everybody? Oh, there's a tree as well. These trees can grab you. Dexalon, I could not summon you. I don't know why. Do you have bad European internet problems? Oh. There's always a second tree. Oh. Let's, uh... Let's take care of that. Actually, probably the safer way to do this is to use my bow. Got a crossbow equipped for range in case I need it, which I often do. So many dudes. Another tree? I don't remember this DLC at all. Maybe streaming this was a huge mistake. But I can play cowardly as well. Not too cowardly though. All right. We can play smart, we can do this. It's Dark Souls, but at the end of the day, it's a video game for children. Damn. Okay. Looking back, it's still not great. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing with the DLC, it's just kinda, kinda boring. The lore's not an especially big draw. I should probably rest at this bonfire. I got the follower javelin. That's the only reason to go up there and deal with all those uh, big men. But I also wanted to play this because, uh, slightly in anticipation of the second and final DLC, the true swan song of Dark Souls, which is coming out in a month, I think? The promotional stuff for it looked promising. The environments looked a little more uh, interesting than they have been. It's like castle-y environments, things like that. All right, these throw fire at you and it's Actually, this is the way you're supposed to go, I think, to make the progress. So, if I can get to a safe vantage point away from the trees, deal with the wolves... Of course, most of the trees are out to get you. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Frostbite's not a big deal status effect. I swear it's not. No stamina. Yeah, if you do not have a bow, these are, uh... Suck. But with a little bit of intelligent and cowardly gameplay, I can handle it. Ugh. Hey. 
Hey, all that, only three Estus flasks. Pretty good, right? Pretty damn good. Also, in case you weren't disgusted enough by the DLC yet, they got this stuff to tide you over. All that for a pretty useless spell. I keep calling it Butthole City. I mean, yeah. I mean, there have been. Buttholes have been kind of a consistent thing with Dark Souls games. Dark Souls 2, of course, you had the Butthole Giants. Now there's some treasure yonder. Not a big fan of the tree enemies. But eventually got him. Another fire thing? I'm gonna put this on. Quick utility miracle, nice to have. It also stacks with the other HP regen stuff. That being said, I should drink some juice anyway. Uh, let's just go to the next area. I'm not gonna linger too much for treasure. Shiny Destiny Kai wouldn't like that. We gotta get to the action of the DLC. Of which there is some. Oh, this went the wrong way. The regular game ends with a giant butthole in the sky. That's true. Alright. So I think this is where Runch uh, killed me on purpose. So I think... Are you alive? Yeah. So I think we are safe to uh, proceed. To the relative safety of the next area. first. Ugh. This is not a 100% treasure DLC run. The only treasure I really want to get, well, if you can just get it from here, then maybe I should go get it. Which you can't, so never mind. There's the Ethereal Oak Shield, which is a very good shield. And there is a si I meant to do that. <clears throat> Oh yeah, and if I, uh, since there's three summon signs here, if I do take the liberty of, uh, I'm not gonna invade people. Uh, where's that thing? Oh, there it is. If I finger myself, then I can get all three of those folks to join. We've got Dactylon, he's no longer evil. We've got Runch, lawful good. We've got Guts, Affiliation Unknown. Now let's really clobber this DLC, folks. Alright, y'all, let's divide and conquer. Let's cross this bridge and experience some lore. Ha, <laughs> sucker! Oh, no, I'm gonna do that. That bridge does fall down, though. Pranked! April Fools! Those are Corvians. I think they're called Corvians. I call them dead. Uh, they were in the main game. They are the things that sprout the, the wangs and turn into very, uh, very nutty monsters who flail at you a lot and move very fast once they grow wings. And this... Well, well. Your Lady Yuri is Lord of Hollows. No bell tolls. And yet, you've slipped into the painting. No, 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 no. If you've lost your way, the words of Lady Frida will guide you. Now, go on inside, show respect, and listen carefully. Hey, listen. What's keeping you? Go on. Right inside. 
This game does enable Show you respect. to look at everyone's ass. Lady free to speak to you. Great detail. Uh, what's this guy's name? What's he doesn't introduce himself, ship? does he? He'll reappear later. He's kind of a jerk. Uh, Lady Pure, this is on PC. So if you're playing on PC, you're welcome to join. Like Mephisto! So look at all these paintings. We got paintings. A painted- a paintings in a painted world. Isn't that a strange thing? And this... Sorry about my friends. I long stood beside our blessed father and the rest of the forlorn. Forlorn thou seemeth not. Sorry about Dactylon. I know not the missteps which led thee to this pain. Very rude. But thy duty is all, and thy duty lieth elsewhere. Return from whence thou camest. I presume it visible to thee? Well, <laughs> uh -oh. sorry, my child. A meek and faded thing, but twill guide thee nonetheless. Ah, yes, there is a thing thou shouldst by rights possess. A remembrance of this cold world for the great Lord of Mondor. May it help thee by thy duty. Now thou'st a place in that world. And that alone is cause to rejoice. <laughs> so, in case you didn't catch some of that conversation, uh, she doesn't want us here. Why would that be, I wonder? Hmm. Well, that's my response, and she's having none of it. That was Sister Afraid? And we should be very afraid of her because she does not want us here. Why does she not want us here, you might wonder. Hmm. This world that seems to be rotting and is not aflame. How could that be? What is this unfinished painting up here? What is the praising of the sun so ubiquitous in all these Dark Souls games? There's so many fuck more mysteries solved. And we'll solve them. Alright, so where are we going next? There's some optional stuff that we can do right now, which maybe we should do by knocking down this bridge. Maybe we should do that right now? We'll send if, I guess we have no choice, because one of my friends took care of the bridge for me. It is. If I don't finish this DLC on this stream, which I don't think I will, I'm gonna have to go get those talking stones. I have not talked to the crows really much in this game at all. So this section kind of sucks. It's one of those be careful you're walking on treacherous ground if you fall you die kind of places. Also, when you have three phantoms with you, you don't want to get in each other's way because, of course, there's going to be people firing arrows at you. Well, that certainly shouldn't have happened. Souls platform. See, Dark Souls should not have platforming sections. Or jumping sections. I'll take the blame for that jump, because that was... That was pretty clearly not the right place to drop. Sucks, because I had my three best friends with me, but... If they're following along, hopefully they can... Oh. Let's try getting Guts back in here, then. Hey, you're back. What troubles thee to linger yet? You're not mad at me or my friends for wrecking your... I guess... Oh, you fixed it. Wow, you repaired everything. Wow. That's really good. Oh, yeah. Let me... Of course, finger myself. <coughs> See, that was Mephisto. We got Guts. If we get a third buddy, we don't need to linger necessarily. Oh, there we go. Welcome, Guts. I'm glad you are able to... Glad you didn't leave like a coward this time. 
Space letters, how you doing? This time, I will knock down the bridge. That is why I died, because I wanted to... Ooh. Somebody's in timeout. Whoops-a-daisy. Uh, do y'all remember or know when the, uh, new DLC comes out? Is it late March? I think it's late. My typical MO is to play the games on me lonesome to experience the, the grand lore of it all, and then to do a stream after the fact, once I have at least some baseline knowledge of the game. Or if I'm feeling impatient, I'll just do it blind. I'll be like that streamer, you know, the one who plays all the day one things and does them very badly, and, and wow is it bad. I'll be that guy. Thanks, Guts, for killing that thing. I believe the path we're going on right now leads to the optional boss of this area. Uh, the optional boss of this area, of this uh, DLC, is... Uh, uh, nothing special, I'd say. Partly throwback-ish, partly uninspiring, partly cool weapon that part of the boss uses. Yep. It's always got to be an arrow guy. I'm a little scared to drop down. Of course, if my shield gets hit, then I might just uh, ricochet and... Hey, there's a... Somebody's... Somebody thinks I'm going to make it to that bonfire. They have a lot of faith. I'm going to help! I think I helped. What do y'all think? <laughs> I love it when they do that. Drop your shield. That would be great. And voila, we've this is the bonfire before one of the bosses. So let's get lit. And who is it but Mephisto? Hopefully no longer in timeout. Let's see if they are in timeout. All right, Guts, let's have a showdown. You and me. You and me and Runch. Let's do this. I think one of my favorite aspects of the Souls games is how you can get summoned into a random area and encounter just immediate silliness. And that's always a good thing to see. Like, people dancing with that uh, trident item that does weird stuff. Wow, these crabs have a lot of health. I don't think a shield's gonna help much against them as well. Did you backstab the crab or parry it? How, how is that? I've got it, guys! I helped. Hello? Crab? Crab. Crab? Oh. Oh my god, the latency crab. It is. Hello. See, there is a treasure. I don't think it's a good one, but it's here, so we should get it and kill the fire tree. Oh yeah, that's why everybody has a lot of HP, is because there are a lot of us here. See, it's not the Homeward Boner that we're looking for, it's, uh... Eh. Look, I don't have time for you trees. My best friends can handle you. We gotta breeze through this delish content. <laughs> 2000 ish health? Goodness gracious. That's another, uh, not especially good spell. Snap frizz. Oh, it's okay. I mean, there are useless spells in the game. That's just gonna happen. So, I think we can tackle this optional boss content. 
I've, I've soloed this boss before. I don't can't say I've. Oh, that's different. How are you parrying that crab? I actually don't remember what Snap Freeze does, but I do remember it not being particularly good. Maybe it does a brief stun? If I did. Show off. <laughs> That's what you get for showing off. <laughs> you idiot. Bye. Alright, so my friends here are seeing fog, I think, so let's, uh... I'm sorry. Let's just take a casual stroll through this lovely... Lovely frozen garden. Might inflict frostbite, that's possible. Double X negative. That would also make the sense, perhaps more sense. Uh, actually, since I have not... Let's take a quick look. Creates a cloud of near-freezing mist. Probably inflicts frostbite, I'm guessing. Frozen weapon. Freezes your weapon. Adds frost damage. Oh, hey! <laughs> I was experiencing the lore, dog. Welcome to the optional boss fight, champions at Grave Tender. The Grave Tender is not the dog. The Grave Tender is, in fact, that small man wielding a unique weapon. Oh my god, we're gonna kick his ass, aren't we? That is the uh, Valor Heart that the Grave Tender is using. It's kind of an interesting weapon. It's a sword weapon. You equip it like a sword, but it comes with its own shield. Oh. Oh. It's gonna do the critical attack. But then a twist. What's this? Who could it be? Oh, it's this that we've never seen before in a Dark Souls game ever. How can this be a thing that happens? One of us should probably finish off the, uh... Still alive? There. I have an idea I'm gonna put... Oh, I can't. Never mind. I cannot imbue my weapon, because it's a special weapon. So this should seem a little familiar, sort of. So this boss operates a little bit differently than the Dark Souls 1 dog. In that he kind of flies all over the place and does not have a sword in his mouth, rather he spits out uh, cold gas. Cold poo gas at us. And he does a shitload of damage if you're not careful. Very easy to die and get two-hitted by this boss. But when you have three people, it's uh, not really a big deal. And we got a champion boner for our efforts. That's right. Thank you, friends. Yeah, the dog is kind of cool in form, too. I'll admit we did not probably give enough time to that boss. We just kind of uh, destroyed it, but that's fine. Uh... Yeah, I forgot, when you have a special weapon, you can't use any of this bleed or fire or cool shit like that. Now, let's see, is there anything else here? Don't think there is. No special lore to look at. Of course, we can look at the... And look, isn't that a little familiar? A grave of a champion of sorts. Interesting. Let's see what the soul for the dog and cha or champion says. Yes. There is no real lore behind this thing, but it does enable the PvP arena. And that's something we got earlier, too.
Something about the Millwood Knights who patrol this painting place? So that is boss one of two. That boss is actually pretty tough if you solo it. The champion with the Valor Heart can kind of throw some crazy shit at you. And yeah, the PvP arena is not... Like, on its surface, it sounds like a really... A really great thing. But it's, uh... It's not all that great. Like, if you want a duel, I guess it kind of fits the bill, but... It does get old kind of quickly. I mean, the PvP in Dark Souls is... You know... It's not like the deepest thing in the world. All right, so now where do we do where do we do next? Can I recall? Probably not. Yes, if you do the PvP arena, you get a little uh, icon next to your name that appears to other people that says that j j you do it, and that's that's nice. All right, so I think we want to go this way next, down this later. You can only fight so many Valor Heart users in the duel arena. That's true. It does let you mix it up a little bit. You can do team battles. You can do 1v1s. And I do like how it does not... Uh, you can... Uh, you can disable Estus... Or it does disable Estus Flask usage. So you can't do any kind of kind of cheap heals to well not cheap heals but it's just kind of annoying when you get someone down a lot and you're doing like a dual thing then they just heal up and you're like oh, okay I guess gotta do all that again uh Mephisto do you remember where to go <clears throat> oh yes Ooh, that was almost felt my death there surprise him. It's going to be hilarious. Are y'all going to play the uh, new DLC when it comes out? Even though I was not especially impressed with this DLC, I do feel compelled to play it, because it's the final Dark Souls thing, right? You gotta play it. Even if their previous product was somewhat subpar. I'm the worst kind of consumer, in fact. So let's see. These go to the same place eventually, right? Mephisto seems to suggest. There aren't enough cool slides in Dark Souls games. That is a fine point. So here's a section with a whole lot of shit. I like the, uh, the style of this place, though. Like, these guys are, you know pretty much harmless but there's a lot of them it's like oh my god what happened to these poor these poor dudes why am I slaughtering them so heartlessly Mediocre Souls is still fun, I guess, Sectalon. I mean, yeah, it's, like I said, the DLC is not, like, awfully bad, you say. There's nothing, like, offensive in it. It's not, like, Mighty Number no. 9-esque stuff. It's just, like, eh. Those guys are really tough. So, those Corvians, you have the some Corvians who are, like, near dead, are really poorly off. Then you have these, like, badass Corvians. Who can like jump and fly and are ninjas. Why are there these different Corvians, you might ask? Why does the sister not want us in this painted world? Why are there two ashen ones? Well, to answer these some of these lore questions, there's a dude we can talk to and get all the answers. Oh. Well, there is nothing. Forlorn about you. 
You must be the other Ash, I suppose. Yep, I'm Ash. I got Pokemon. Oh. Oh, finally. You have come. Oh, wondrous Ash. Grant us our way. Sorry about my friend. He's... Make the tales true. And burn this world away. My lady must see flame. And you have only to show her. You are Ash, are you not? Is it not fire that you seek? Yeah. Surely you have seen the rot that afflicts our world. But that which fooled the good father and buried the flame. After we had all made up our minds, too. So, please, grant us one wish. Make the tales true. And burn this world away. And then give me infinite My wishes. You must see flame. And you have only to show her. Can I get look at your ass? Oh, please. It must be you. I am so terrible. It's the back of his neck, the best I can do. Rotting away. Like those. Like those fools on the outside. I am so terribly like the. So the sister. needs to see flame. This world should have seen some flame. But it didn't see the flame. And because it didn't see the flame and get reborn or whatever it is that the flames do, it's all cold and ashy. Oh yeah. So uh, again, finger myself. I've heard of wanting to watch the world burn, but wanting to watch the world be ash? That doesn't make any sense. So it's like there's two Ashen Ones here, but one of the Ashen Ones had the opportunity to rebirth the world via the flame and did not do so. And so now we're here, we just kind of wandered along. And now I guess it's us to up to us to kind of get some get us get a fire going. This this whole DLC is about claiming that one Ashen One did not start the fire. And the fire has not even always been burning. How can I open this door that cannot be opened from the other from the other side? So here's some more uh, not Corbins that are not so well off. And I think if let's see. Oh. <laughs> So they kind of took care of everything, but if you come in here, there's going to be a winged Corvian that comes down and just starts slaughtering all these little poor Corvians that aren't as cool and badass. And it's very upsetting, and it's it's all part of the lore, friends. It's all it's like a Dark Souls fucked up monster cast system. So some Corvians seemingly wanted to do the whole fire thing, but some other Corvians were like, nah, other Ashen One, we got your back. We're cool with it being cold and miserable and Minnesota all the time. We want to keep it like that instead of turning it into Texas. And so they put on their cowboy hats, got their gunslinger slinging arms ready, and just slaughtered all of their fellow man. And what a weird thing messed up thing that is, is what the lore says. If anybody wants to fill in the blanks on the lore, I'm kind of doing a summary of it. Feel free to, to put some extra panache on it. <laughs> and some Corvians walk like this. That's right. God, this is so much easier when you have, like, people.
Let's see, is there... And yeah, we want to go here, but there's one of those badass Corbians. Who's cool with the weather being like Canada all the time. Get your Canadian ideas out of here. We don't need them. Is there a reason to drop down here? I don't think there is. I'm guessing not because all my friends are going this way. Let's see, so I'm going to try to put a positive spin on things. Uh, some good things about this DLC. Um, the main boss is neat. It's a, it's a double-edged sword because the main boss one is neat. But it's also really fucking annoying. As cool as it is, it's irritating to do. My way of the white corona. So that is like a destructo disc for those of you who like anime. It's a miracle. It sends out a bladed disc boomerang thing. I've actually never used it. I don't know if it's good. And we're on the other side. We could not quite climb this fence. Yeah, you throw a sonic booms. Exactly, Runch. So with the summons, we're blazing through the DLC pretty fast. That's another kind of iffy thing on the DLC. It is very short. I mean, the other Dark Souls DLCs you could beat off in... I don't know, three, four hours? This is more like two, maybe? Well, on a blind playthrough, maybe like th two and a half, three. But if you know what you're doing, you can get through this incredibly fast. Yeah, it's just, it's not quite as neat as... I'd say it is the worst Dark Souls DLC out of all of them. Like, I'd say this is the worst, and then after that, second worst would be one of the ones from Dark Souls 2, well, obviously. Like, Dark Souls 1, the Artorias DLC, I thought was the best. This could be a biased perception just because that was also the first of the DLCs that I experienced, but I also thought it was very good. Oh, it's... Wilhelm, that's his name. Oh yeah, he's got a really cool sword. Sorry we didn't let you finish your <laughs> introduction there. Uh, the Onyx Blade is really cool. I like it. Uh, I have too many Hello. weapons equipped. Hello. Help me. I cannot use the Onyx Blade. Because I do not have the intelligence to use it. But it is cool. So it's got your conventional set, but then use its... Oh, I can't use it because I have no... I, I don't have the stats for it. But you can do what Wilhelm did and put the cool black flame shit on your blade. And it just looks kind of neat. So Wilhelm was the guy who was guarding the sister, who was in front of the sister's door. So now you're beginning to think that, oh my, could perhaps this conspiracy be Sister Frady Pants, who is so Frady that uh, she's sending her guardian man to stop us from doing something she perhaps does not want us to do. I believe I ash upon thee. Thou art the one I smoke 20 packs a day. The one to show me flame. Gale, of course, being the guy who gave us the scrap of the painting to fly into. It is good. When this is done, may I return. The door is open thanks to thee. Tis good. I'll head off to paint. I promised Uncle Gale I would. Oof, you need to go outside. You are looking pale. Tis good. When this is done, may I return. The door is open thanks to thee. Tis I 
promised Uncle Gabe. So Wilhelm was guarding this girl who is a painter. Painted world. Are the themes starting to come together yet for y'all? Are y'all starting to see how all this soulsy shit works? This lore of ours. Thank you for leaving a trail. So I know where to go. So when she was in there, she could not paint. Hey, a present. <laughs> yes. Finally. Excellent. And thank goodness we opened up a shortcut so we don't have to go through that grueling route again to get back to where we were. Uh, this next area is kind... I remember being kind of a pain in the ass, which is, of course, mitigated by the fact that my friends are making short work of it. There's a lot of follower guys. They're in various ambush spots. And, of course, if you fuck up near the end, you do it all again, because you die at that bonfire, come back. It's, 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 a, it's a whole thing. All I'm seeing is a ripoff of Super Mario 64. That's fair. Completely fair. But, the, consider this. Is Mario 64 the Dark Souls of going into paintings? Think about it, won't you? And that's interesting. Let me deal with this guy. And I'll make clear... Oh, maybe I can't look at it now. Oh, hey, guys. It's, uh... So you see that? That fallen bell? Well, let me ask you this. Have you noticed whenever a new Ashen One gets summoned into a world of bell tolls? And for whom does that bell toll? It tolls for the Ashen One who comes to rid the world of the Ash and bring forth the flame. Of course, we all know this. But when the bell is here, the bell cannot ring. And when the bell cannot ring, it's a chicken and egg thing. Which came first, the Ashen One or the bell? I don't know. But without a bell ringing, there's no Ashen Ones here. We just kind of accidentally came upon this world by happy coincidence. Uh, fabulous Beastar, the password for co-op is Beatus. B-E-T-U-S. How's my uh, summary of the lore so far? Oh, I believe there's treasure to be had in this tower. Nothing in the sides. Nothing in the back. Nothing in the switch. Uh, I think I'm thinking of a different tower. This, I believe, is just a shortcut. Back here. Ugh, weird. Is there treasure to be had? I thought there was treasure to be had, but... No, it's just some dudes, and I don't think we need to bother dealing with those dudes. Because the progress happens to be over this way. I very... Re well, you guys are being very respectful all of a sudden. Whenever I talk to somebody, you just wreck their house, but here... You just chill. Chill... Uh, so down there, do we want to go down there, guys? Yep. There is treasure in this area, but there's also uh, a couple of large men that we need to deal with. Like, large muscle men. Hey, why didn't I... Oh. One hit. One minor hit with that axe. Look how much health it whacked off my total. See, there's treasure in here. And is it good treasure, you may ask? It's 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 gimmick treasure. 
That's the thing I'm pretty sure I cannot use. Oh, I can use it. But it's weapon art. And probably not as impressive as it may sound or look. I also used up some of my uh, skill points. So we got some souls, sure. We got some Titanite shards, which are very obsolete by the time you would want to do this area in the first place. They just want to make sure you remember to upgrade your weapons, is all. And we emerge. Kind of back where we were. So let's see, beyond... We're actually kind of... Wait. <laughs> My best friends, where are they? Help me. There you are. Help me. Help I'll help you what you need. I actually don't think there's a whole lot of delish content left to go. But we need to... Oh, no, there's that uh, disgusting area that's still to come, isn't there? Oh. There's a disgusting area with bugs we still need to do. And I think after that... Yeah, because there you flip a switch and it opens up the area at the beginning of the DLC and then you have the boss and then the DLC's over. Dectalon knows what's up, I think. Perhaps we will cover all the DLC in a single stream. And since I have all my Dark Souls content on YouTube, perhaps this will motivate me to actually edit some of my old streams and put them on YouTube. That wolf fell down. Oh. Eh, it's fine. Dactylon, be quiet. It's gonna hear us. Ooh, he's a mean-looking man. I want to backstab you. Oh. My goodness, you have a lot of health. Even for a big, large man, you have lots of health. Large Titanite shard. Mephisto's been fighting in the AI arena, or AI arena, the PvP arena. Not the Spy Television show, but the actual thing that's in Dark. Hey, don't leave guts behind, guys. We're best friends, we gotta stay together. Why can I not backstab you? I was trying to kick him, but that didn't quite work. The only treasure I really want from the DLC is that Follower Saber and the Ethereal Oak Shield. Neither of which I remember where they are. But it'll still be here at the end of the day, so... No biggie. Alright, shortcut's done. Now we get to go to the Disgusting Area. And that's it, right? The Disgusting Area is kind of... Oh, there's one little optional area, too. So here's where the rot. So let this be a lesson. If you don't set something on fire, this is gonna happen. You're gonna get a bug problem and you're gonna get a lot of, this is all rot, this is rot. It's gross. It's gross rot. Oh no, a trap. Wait, where the... Did y'all kill it, like, silently? Did y'all do that? 
What's the uh, giant mace that's usable as a weapon that y'all are talking about? Or that one of you is talking about? So this room is the last, I believe, mandatory area of the DLC. Because in here... You have to be careful in this room, because as you can see, there's quite a lot of... Uh, quite a lot of Jeff Goldblums in here to deal with. And if there's a lot of them, they can... Uh, well, put leeches on you. And of course, I don't have my torch equipped, so I need to go do that before the bleed takes effect, which I don't know if I'll do on time. I did not. There we go. Of course, now I'm over 70% equip load, I believe, so. Let's put this on real quick. Offset the bleed slightly. I believe there's a tower with some treasure past where the wolves are. I remember that too. I feel like we missed something. Doesn't matter. If there's time after we finish this, maybe I'll do a little bit of the PvP arena. I mean, you can play it, like, once and get the kind of gist of it. I don't know, does the PvP arena work with the password system, or does it just always put you up against randos? Oh yeah, there is a hidden wall in the Gross Chapel. You're right, Runch. Yeah, that's what leads to a place where you get the other pyromancy flame. That looks a little familiar, doesn't it? The same sort of mechanic happens in the uh, Ariamus painting? In Dark Souls 1. Do the references never stop? The final boss awaits. As ashes will be, ever seeking fire. Oh. But that's for the later. Let's kill some bugs. Got some fashion. And we got our hidden door. Why is that door fogged? I don't remember. Does this lead to a shortcut that goes back to a previous area that, uh... Do I have to get rid of all y'all? I think I have to get rid of all y'all. That's the only place to go, isn't it? Looks like we have to say goodbye temporarily. This is a no friend zone. Is that right? Yeah, Dectalon seems to agree. Sorry, Mephisto. But, oh, thank you, Mephisto. All right, it's all up to me. There. Does that look a little bit familiar, I wonder? Hmm. I've heard of Dark Souls 1 references, but Dark Souls 2 references? It's too much. It's way, it's way too much. Let's, uh, you know, for no particular reason. No, not that. Put that on just to be uh, super, super duper safe. So going down there would be great, but we gotta do some platforming. So let's start here, I guess. And right in the pool of blood. Yes, it does sort of look like that place in two from uh, the place that I cannot remember the name of because I've not played Dark Souls 2 in forever. Pretty of a neat thing that was happening recently or is about to happen. 
was, uh, there's going to be like a mass influx of players, like an organized effort to have a bunch of people start a new playthrough of Dark Souls 2, for whatever reason. Cool concept. Uh, don't remember where to drop down. Could drop down here, possibly? Or... Does that look right? I need everybody to hold your breath until I get through this, because this is tense. I actually think the reference is more about, uh, even though it looks, it does look like the uh, place in Dark Souls 2 where you fight that first dish boss, the Dragon Slayer thing, it is perhaps even more reminiscent of the arena where you fight Priscilla in the Dark Souls 1 DLC. Perhaps all paintings have these in them for some reason. Look, let's just say the Dark Souls, like, they're lazy and they recycle all of their stuff, all their assets, okay? That's that's the what we're going to say. But yes, I believe the reference is supposed to be. And yeah, when you get in here, it's like, oh yeah, that's definitely where you fought Priscilla. And then they were like, that's such a good idea. Let's do it again in Dark Souls 2. Using the Leo ring since this is partially a thrust weapon. Those lazy Dark Souls devs. Oh yeah, and we got a new Pyromancy Flame for our efforts. Uh, how's this different than a regular one? You can release some shit that you build up to gain a little bit of Estus. And release a store of Death Echoes? Now this game is referencing Bloodborne? Can you believe it? And we got an NPC to deal with. Oh, I wanted to kick you off so bad. Oh, I'm heavy. Okay. No, I'm not. Pyromancers ain't too difficult to deal with. Uh, oh no, I'm not falling for that trick. Ah. Already out. Wow, that Pyromancer was positively livid. And we get a spell. A better spell would have been Floating Bed of Chaos, in my opinion. And hey, that's where we fought the wolf guy. And I believe we have, I believe we picked up a homeward boner back there because we have no, uh, no way to leave but to go back. To warp back, rather. And that's, that's everything, right? Was there anything else in the bug place to do? I forget how it works, I don't have the stats to use it, so I cannot say. It's like Soul Shower, except it fires off three times. Sounds right. Alright, so... Uh, Chad, or people who've been helping me so far, is it now time to fight the boss? Should probably get some levels. Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm leveled enough. I believe. I believe it's time to beat off the boss. DLC went quicker than I thought. Then I remember. For some reason, I remember there, I thought there was more stuff to do in the bug place. So, here's what I'm going to do I'm going to tackle the boss once, solo. 
Just because I feel like I should. Then after that, let's just all beat the shit out of it. Sound good? That's, that's, that's what I want to do. What you scared of, father? Huh? I skipped some treasure in Corvian Village. Okay. Go get that later. Okay, I was expecting a cutscene to trigger earlier, but I think you have to actually, like, talk to him to trigger the, uh... What's the matter? Are you... A Frady Cat? Sister Frady Cat? This is her, like, father-dad. Who's, uh, drinking out of a bowl. What you got there? You got Cheerios? Frosted Flakes? Can I have some? Oh. Uh, oh. Climb Frida to me, please. Cause the whole house, the flame, Flickering once again. Sin blood surge. I can see it. Feel it. Bad hangover, says P Funky. I've been there. He wants a flail because he's scared of bringing flames and he needs his blood to put it out. We have no need of thy flail. Oh. Is only the flame quivering at misguided Ash. I'm just doing what Ash are here to do, lady. Avert thine eyes. Oh. I would snuff out these ashes for good. Don't look at don't look down, because I'm about to kick some ass. So this this is a... Um, it's an interesting boss, I'll say that. It's a very frustrating boss, too. Especially when you have not fought this boss in quite a long time. I'm trying to remember how she works exactly. She sure freezes you, alright. Oh, yeah. She does this disappearing act that's really annoying, because... There's a trick to catching her before she gets to you, but I don't remember what it is. It's because she jumps up and you can, like, spot her before she gets to you. Forget. The noises help. That doesn't help. Ooh. That doesn't help at all. I feel like I'm playing too defensively. Well. <laughs> I think you can backstab her, but she kind of... She's kind of a fast one, so that makes... That's tricky. See, I thought since I had the horizontal swing, I could maybe catch her before she gets to me in the first place, but not doing so bad. This boss takes a lot of... Uh, can take a lot of repetitions before you kind of get the pattern down. But of course, it's not only this. There, I mean, of course there's going to be more. Oh, hey, you're right there. There we go. Put, oh, okay, put... That's part one. But what happens when there's an Ash's blood? Well, of course, when there's an Ash's blood, it's gonna cause a fire to break out, and when a fire breaks out, 
in Dad's bowl, Dad's not gonna be too happy. Hey, you doing okay, honey? Doing great. I will say this, this guy is pretty cool. Very fucked up and cool. And of course, when an ash's blood catches fire and the fire goes back to the ashen one, what happens when a fire goes to an ashen one? That ashen one's bound to get embered. And when an ashen one catches fire and gets embered, they tend to come back and they're even tougher. I may be mixing up some lore here and there. I'm just winging it off the top of my head. All I'm saying is, the shit is getting real. You can summon an NPC for this fight, which seems perfectly fair because suddenly this is a 2v1, which is completely not fair. So at least these guys share health, I think. So you beat off one, you beat off both of them. See, with her I want to use my shield, but with him the shield's kind of pointless. Oh dear. Oh, I have my iframes up and your bowl did not hurt me. I don't really remember much about the trick to this aside from... I think you want to focus on the dad more than the sister? Or maybe not because she can heal the dad and that's bad. Now if I can hit both of them at the same time, wouldn't that be a treat? Alright, he's kind of in a corner where I'm scared to go, so... Yeah. He's... I don't do well with the quick people. Oh, hey. Dad's mad. See, four flasks, that's not exactly a uh, promising proposition. Okay. Not bad for not having done it in forever, but... I have soloed this boss. I feel no honor in doing it again, so... Let's bring in the big guns. Let's summon the NPC just to see who it is. And one neat thing, you can actually summon this NPC even when you are a... Uh, Gale, that's right. It's Gale, the guy who conned us into coming to this world in the first place. Let's try this again. And yeah, seeing the third form of this fight was also really demoralizing because it took me so long just to get through the first two phases. And I kind of didn't want to do the boss anymore at that point. So I don't know if that's, like, a good thing, design-wise. Um, uh oh couldn't get brunch. Alright, you and me, filthy. You filthy animal. Who's she after? Maybe I should just do two-handed and rely on rolling. Oh, we got brunch. Help. 
help me, Rush. Noticeably less damage now that I have people. I should probably get those 150,000 souls. Oh, hey, you're right here. Okay. It's one down. Now Gale appears. Help cool Uncle Gale. Focus on the dad, gentlemen. as the dad kicks my butt. This is like my worst fear when you like, when you're dating someone for the first time and you have to meet their dad. And you're like, it's like, oh, I hope the dad really likes me. But then the dad is like this. It's happened to me like many, many times. Especially hate it when the dad spills his bowl of fire and ignites me. Makes me think that maybe the dad doesn't want me to date his daughter. Oops. Forgot dad has an area of effects. Deal. <laughs> what happened? Filthy no! Oh. Yeah, you're right, Niku. The dad has his chair nailed to his ass, and you're like, I think this family might be a little weird. This is my dad on Super Bowl Sunday, so the bowl is filled with nachos and cheese. And we realize as the bowl's out, he does that scream. Well, we have 62 more attempts at this before. I hope your skills with this boss are much like your sword. Great. Yeah, that'd be my response too, probably. All right, gentlemen. Here we go. <laughs> the dad welcomes you to the family, but not in the way you hope. Yeah. Let me get my souls real quick. <laughs> I'm not too eager to level up or anything, but 150,000 is a, it's a shame to waste those. I'm here to help! Leave Guts alone! Welcome to the family, son. Here's a bowl of blood and fire. I'm gonna pretend that my sword hit did that, even though it clearly didn't. Alright, Dad. I'm gonna make you respect me. Oh! I forget what the tell is for when Dad is gonna do the area of effect blast. Guts, no! That's his R. I feel like even when I take a sort of a little bit of damage like that, I should heal, but I do have my region effects on. So maybe it's okay. Face the right way. Oh, hey, that's not guts, that's uh, the light. Wow, Dad does not like guts one bit. Or any of us. Oh, he's gonna do the thing, I think. 
Oh, no, he's just... He's just spilling all of his nacho dip all over the place. Oh, Dad, I'll get you some more dip, God. All right. So see, the first time I did this, I was like, whew, finally got that fight out of the way. That took a lot of attempts. Oh, and I got a Titanite slab for my efforts. What a decent reward for this DLC. Uh, it's, it's time to collect the thing and, oh, what? And of course, there's Black Black Flame, Sister Frayed. And she can one-shot you if you are kind of low-leveled from the fight. And then, once she one-shots you, then you have to do everything all over again. And that's great. Yes, I know I got a Titanite Slap. Gale! My uncle! Cool Uncle Gale. I would really love to backstab her, but... There. I feel like I contributed. And she can, like, I think she can sort of stun lock you, maybe? I don't call, but it's, uh... Ugh. I want to do the backstab, but there we go. Oh, that did a very pitiful amount of damage. Going by our health bar. Let's, 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 let's cool down now, okay. I'm sorry we killed your dad, alright. Shit happens. I don't think this is going to help because she keeps moving. Yeah. Nice, Dr. Lord. I think we got it. <laughs> I got her. Tectalon, do you know something that I don't know? Oh, that's not the right weapon. Leave Guts alone! I got this, guys! Ugh! I... I got... I... I, I had it, Tactalon. Thank you, gentlemen. The assist. The parry window. Don't talk to me about parry windows. I wouldn't even try to parry that boss. Alright, we got some souls, and that's the, the DLC's over, just like that. There's not even a thing you can get over here. No crown, no nothing. So maybe I'll just go get the treasure on my own later, I don't think it's especially interesting. Let's instead do some PvP. We defeated. So yeah, that's the DLC. It's kind of, you know, it's a little underwhelming. Oh yeah, you're right, Niku. There's one other thing. There is a, uh, a little bit of a closer, if you will, that I'm forgetting about, which I should have warped to the chapel for, but let's take a dramatic walk up to this cutscene. It's not a cutscene, it's just dialogue, but whatever. Someone should really put this out, man. That's eh, fine.
And to think all of this was caused because Dectalon, Mephisto, and maybe it was, it was Guts rolled through here, broke all of her shit, and made her mad. I would be mad if someone came into my place and threw all my pottery on the floor. Or rolled into my pottery. And my various paintings. <laughs> the giant bowl would have been a funny weapon to get. It would. Here's the girl we rescued from Wilhelm. Who needs a haircut. I can hear the fire crackle. And soon, I will see it. My thanks, Ashen One. I will finish the painting. Should you maybe a start cold, over? Dark and very gentle place. This looks kind of like shit right now. So that it might make a home for someone. Someday. My thanks, Ashen One. I will finish the painting. Of a cold, so that it might... And that's it. My She's gonna make a new painted world that'll have its, uh, some new lore. But with new lore comes new problems. Good luck on your painting! <laughs> Alright, let's do some of that, uh, arena. My thanks, Ashen One. I can almost see the flame. Soon, Uncle Gale will bring me the pigment. I wonder if he has found it. The dark soul of man. Brunch says, I cannot believe you, Diabetes, managed to effortlessly finish that boss fight in one attempt with no damage equipment, just punching her to death by yourself. Thank you. So who do we have? There's Mephisto. There's Runch. There's Filthy. We all have little crowns. So let's 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 fuck each other up, guys. What do you say? Who do I start with? So many people to kill. Runch. This is for. Oh. Oh, we do get one Estus Flask. Alright, let's use some items. I'm hoarding my items too long. Oh, the lag is to my advantage, Runch. What do you think about that? Oh. I think I got this. I think I got this. Oh my god, I exploded in a hole. <laughs> Where'd Runch go? I gotta I got get revenge. Runch! There he is. Runch is currently king of the hill. Surprise? No. So I can't heal, but I can HP regen, and over time I'll get all the value. Yikes. I cannot poise through his giant hammer. There, I gotta hit it, I'm satisfied. I effortlessly killed Mephisto all by myself. Should probably drink this in order to kill Filthy in combat. Has any game had more rolling than Dark Souls? That didn't work at all. The lag, I swear. Oh, goodness. 
Jesus. Oh, you comboed me. Nice job. So, I mean, this is kind of it as far as the new AI arena thingy goes. Why do I keep calling it AI arena? PvP arena? Okay, I need to play dirty. Enough of this honorable dueling. I just need to, like, be an opportunist, wait for someone to get near death, and then kill them like I did with Mephisto. Hey, that, that's, that's the highlight right there. Got them both. It's always two swings with that hammer. Goodness. That hammer packs a punch. I'm gonna get one win. Alright. I can bide my time and heal. Ugh. I'm, like, my hits that seem like they should be hits are not hits. Maybe I should try parrying. Should try parrying, be funky, you're right. There's only 30 seconds left, I can get one win. Well, I don't think he's the greatest, but, you know. You have a lot of health crunch. Maybe you should try getting good. I should. Uh, let's try again. You need to aim where they'll be, not where they are. <laughs> well, Dectalon, I, yeah, you're right. I don't PvP very much. I treat these guys like they're uh, regular enemies, but... But the internet lag... Hey, we traded there. I think that's even, right? Damn, even that hammer wrench. So aim where they'll be. Well, I sorta did that, I think. Almost had him. Souls PvP, you gotta play in mind games. It's true. It's true. Combat runch filled because I loosened him up for whoever killed him. Oh, that can't hurry that. <laughs> See, I sort of played mind games. I made him roll with the arrow, and then when he rolled into me, I hit him. That was impressive, right? I'm a good... I'm good at Dark Souls. Maybe I just should not equip the shield? Another clean hit. I'm improving all the time. Gotta kill! Now to murder my friend Dectalon. Didn't seem like it should have hit, but I'll take it. Brunch, we're dueling honorably here. Yeah. 
Yes, I think I got that right. Okay, I think we can end on an optimistic note once this one's over. Now that I've hit the air where they are probably going to be, hopefully. Thanks. Don't think I have time to get off that spell. Uh oh. Aha! I'm just gonna have to drink juice, I think. That was not worth the juice. Ah. I think I'm gonna get punished. Okay. Not punished. Three kills in a row. Could this be the turnaround that everyone was expecting? Probably should have whipped out the bow. And I stole Runch's kill? And I should run away for the rest of the match? Because I'm now... Oh. I want to heal. Uh oh. Oh, gosh. That was a big mistake. And punished accordingly. Well, that was bound to happen. Uh, we're doing four or six player brawl, or in this case three somehow. Crunch, you will not take my four wins away from me. I don't think I have time to put replenishment on with Runch running after me like a madman. I feel like they're ganging up on me. Did I win? Am I the best? I'm the best! I'm the greatest combatant! I'm king of the world? To three if- oh. Let's see if I can honorably duel. I think that's Mephisto, yeah. I'm just gonna walk up slowly like a badass. Play mind games. He's not gonna know what's up. Like, I don't even give a fuck. Oh, that didn't work. That's not variable. Cool sword, though. What is that? Oh, can't poise through it either. Just get enough of my HP to recover where I feel comfortable getting in there again. Has a date been announced for the next DLC? Late March is my understanding. Four twenty, really? Or is that is that a? Are you doing a meme in my stream? Meme stream? Yeah. 
solid duel. Thank you, Mephisto. I sit cool in your honor. All right. So let's let's end it there on a solid duel note. Dark Souls, 